Crazy Hank says on the Soil Scientist Explains Liquid Aeration video that I put out, it would be really helpful if instead of simply saying, I call BS, to explain to us why I can't alleviate compaction or break down soil particles. Science is not in the position of explaining why things don't work or don't happen or like, like proving a negative. You can't prove a negative. You'll never find a hypothesis that says, um, in this case, uh, what was it? Liquid aeration. You'll never see a hypothesis that says liquid aeration won't, won't alleviate compaction because that's the null hypothesis, right? So you'll never find a hypothesis stated that way. So we can't prove a negative. So having said all that, okay, let's just make sure we're clear, is that when I call BS on something, what I'm saying is this person's not caring about what's true or not true. And the information that he's communicating is just nonsense. It may be true. It may not, it may be not true, but I don't know. And there's no evidence to indicate that I should change my position. So I stay neutral. That's what I mean by that. Okay. But when it says alleviate compaction or break down soil particles, I'm not sure what I would need to provide to convince you that that won't do it. I mean, uh, you know, again, we don't prove a negative, but the f just a, f a basic fundamental understanding of soil science, which you can get from any undergraduate soil book, would provide a lot of information in that regard. I, that's what I would guess I'd start with. I mean, if, you, if you're interested in soils to that degree, I would probably start with an undergraduate soils textbook and start, start working your way up from there. But compaction is either physical or chemical, and physical compaction is not alleviate by, and not alleviated by a chemical. Okay, it's not going to work that way. Okay, physical compaction where it's being compressed requires those soils particles to be spread back out, and that's going to require a physical solution like cultivation.